There we go. That took way too long. That's something nice. Bad. Oh, one of those crappie. Finally. Finally. One of those big crappie. Wait till you guys see this dude, man. Wait till you see him. appreciate y'all tuning in today uh, we are back on the ice fishing mission uh, headed south of town today to a spot that I fish pretty regularly during the summer and spring but uh be the first time uh, this winter that I'm going to fish there um, kind of got a little love and hate relationship with this place um, last year we, it was really tough um, not sure if that's because we didn't have a whole lot of snow on the ice or what but uh, there's definitely some uh, wall hanging, uh, wall hangers, uh, pan fishing here. I've got a couple out of here, uh, but he's caught a couple of nice ones. Then there's also a bunch of bass in here as well. Uh, but, some, but it seems like during the winter they just all disappear. Um, so hopefully that's not the case today. Um, we're kind of on a, we are on a warming trend, uh, coming out of a week long of temperatures in the, the teens and negatives. So. Uh, yesterday warmed up pretty nice and the day is supposed to be pretty nice so we're going to be doing some hole hopping and uh, hopefully be able to find some more of those wall hangers for y'all so stay tuned Gravel pit all loaded up, about to head down to the ice. Got a beautiful day today. Like I said, it's supposed to get up almost upper 30s, probably may, might touch 40 today. It's nice. No, no wind today, so that's that's nice. Now we just need the fish to cooperate. Got Matty Ice out here with me today. That first tree is right up here, huh? Yeah, that tree, yep. Yeah. Like right off here. Right. We pop something, probably pop a bunch of holes in this area. All right, we're down on the ice. Uh, probably just gonna start with gridding this spot out. We don't have a lot of uh, cover. Uh, like lay downs or anything like that here. It's just a lot of uh, different uh, drops and humps and things like that. So we're gonna grid out. Uh, I don't know how big of a spot, but just gonna grid out probably 20, 20 holes or so and kind of just jump around. Uh, like I said, it's, it's real nice out today. So definitely a hole hopping day. All right, just got done popping the hole, so we're just gonna hop around, try to find the best spot. Um, like I mentioned, it's a big mark down there already. Probably a bass. Um, not a whole lot of cover, but uh, definitely a lot of different uh, depth changes, humps, things like that. It gets pretty deep here, about 35 feet. So got some fish on the screen though, we found some. So. Probably stay in this general area for a little while. <laughs> See if we can get a few to go. Matty Ice is hooked up already. Yeah. Oh, nice little bass. Oh, no. Like I said, one of those 16, 17 inches. 
That's a cookie cutter. Yeah. There we the, go. Got the big hook even. Yeah. Nice. Ooh. Nice bass. Yeah. Here we go. We've only been here about 10 minutes. Already hooking up, marking fish. Good time. Gonna be a good day. Uh, all right, so just when I was saying there's not a whole lot of structure here, found it's like a little tree, and you can see a lot of fish over in that area. So that's probably where we're going to start at. Hopefully, we don't spook too many, but we'll sit down there for a little bit and let everything kind of calm down after I pop my hole. They should be moving in and out. All right, we're all set up. Uh, got a dead stick with a metal on it. And then I'm just going to start with a little um, jig with the woolly worms mayfly. Got something. I have something on the dead stick. Kind of check it out at least. Got something coming up hot. Oh, he hit it. He tapped it. I just missed him. Let's see if he'll come back. Hit on the dead stick. Yeah, he got it, I think. Yeah, he got it. That stick's hooked up. First one. Little bass. Little baby. But even. <laughs> that one? Oh, big crappie. Oh, I see that from here. Oh my god, Matt just caught a huge crappie. I'm going to go over there real quick. If I pop this little guy off, just a little bass. <laughs> Hell yeah. I told you, man. Land. This is the trophy. It's panfish. Like, that's probably a 15 inch or dog for sure. There's another. There's a bunch of marks down there. Are there? Yeah. I might have to go. <laughs> Let me see that thing. Hell yeah. Yeah, she's a nice one. Lad is getting on him. You gotta have to get, you gotta. I got my stick. Stick, that's it. Yeah. I have a. First hole. Oh man, let's see how big this sucker goes. Yeah, 15 for sure. 14? Yeah. 14. Yep. But still. That's a big crappie for around here. Yes. She's nice. Nice. That's nice. kicking my butt. <laughs> He's on them. Nice fish. Yeah. Let me get back down here so I can try to get on some. Like I mentioned, man, there's some big, some big ones in here. Um, Matt, he's got a 16 inch or one day we were out here he caught a 16 inch crappie out of here um so they're definitely out here another one another drag puller man tell it he's kicking my butt over there man big bass Matt just got another big bass he's taking all the fish today not sharing at all Oh, that little bass. That's another little guy. Yeah. All right, that's nice. They'd be on the bottom. They're on the bottom? Yeah, like I lift up the ripping wrap. And, yeah. Oh, shit, there's weight there. There they are. They're in there. That little curve, they're just on top of that. Nice.
Oh, that took forever. But we got one. <laughs> no, uh, that's those are one of those gills. You boys are fat. Fat and healthy. Probably like a seven and a half incher, but they eat good here. We'll take it. Couple more. <laughs> Push down there. Eh? We just gotta eat. He's got it. I was about to say, a lot of them had it. Those are the gifts. <laughs> Those are the ones that. Big old gill. These are the ones that we came looking for. I don't know if you guys can see this, man. Not in the big old gill. Yeah. This is what we're looking for. Drop him on that board. Oh, this this shine about eight and a half, but he is just thick, thick and tall. There's some more down there. We got a lot of action down there right now. Another big gill. Another big one. Man. Another big gill. Some big ones in here. I ain't never caught this many in one day though. See how big that girl goes. Big forehead. Let me get some sunlight. coming in and out. Oh, oh she's oh, this one's smaller than the last one but still about oh, eight and a half. It's a huge school. fish in there. <laughs> Eat school. There we go. I wasn't sure if they were going to eat or not. There's the gift. <laughs> That's what we're working with. Right? I'm telling you. Look at that thing. Look at that gill. Something got to it. But geez. He's been. Oh my goodness. That's a huge gill. <laughs> huge school right underneath us. Catching gills like this. Let me see if we can get another one quick. Oh yeah, they're right underneath me. Watch out, bro. There's still some there. They're leaving. Come 
back up shallow. <clears throat> Alright, they moved back up to that hole that I popped behind me, so I might go drop in there. Try to catch a few. For sure. Just over nine inches. Pull one out of this hole that we just popped. Had one. Here comes one. Oh, I don't. <laughs> he feels nice too. This feels real nice. Oh, this might not be a gill. It might be a bass. I don't think this is a gill. Yeah, I think this is a bass. This is, yeah, this is definitely a bass. Loving this new rod, Riverside Rods. Buddy Gary. Rod Company, there you go. Skinny guy. <laughs> that jig just popped out too. But a little skinny, probably 16, 17 inch. Uh, they're not looking too healthy. They're not eating that good. You can see why he popped it. I'll take the bass too. I was trying to get that gill. Take them all day. So, they're skinny. Real skinny, like not healthy at all. <laughs> Just like long and skinny. He's probably like 17 inches and probably like a pound and a half. Yep. Just over 17. But pretty skinny. They're in here hungry. That was just two fish. It looked bigger than it was. Something flying up. Yep, he ate it. <laughs> Might be another bass. Oh, another gill. Another gill. Pretty one. Some pretty colors on, on this one. The thick one. Nice colors. Probably about an eight incher. But get it bad.
see a big crop. Nice little bass up here shallow, about five foot of water. He just came in, popped it. Was hoping it was a crappie. <laughs> we'll take it, probably 15 inches or so. Uh, found a little shallow spot. <clears throat> uh, it's about, about six foot. Uh, Deucer's down, probably another foot. That got caught a bass and a decent sized bluegill out here already. Uh, hopefully I got the bass on film, but I know I didn't get the bluegill. Thought I had the camera around rolling and I didn't, so we're gonna focus on this for right now. You can see on the camera, there's a bunch down there. Get the hooks. He's hitting it. They are hitting it, but it's at the hook. There we go. Tell you. <laughs> so bon Thick ones, they're not that long, but they are thick. Little gill. Nice, thick. Probably eight inches, but man, they, got some, they got some meat on them, so they must be eating pretty good up these shallow weeds right now. So I think we're gonna focus on that for a while. There's another one. <laughs> oh, look at these gills. Now, this is a, this is a big one, man. I'm like, I'm gonna get a measurement on this one. Flipper. Got a little big gills. Got a little big gills. He, she smacked that. That thing is gone. Man, there's some big gills in here. Switched over to that Wooly Worms tadpole in white. Just got some of these ones in white and I just got, got it tipped with a little uh, spike. They are inhaling this. Let's see if we can get to, they're still down there. Uh, I keep missing it. Check my. They are smacking this thing. There we go. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> oh, look at these. So this is what they're, what's down there. The grass is, is dying off, so you wouldn't think they'd be relating to it, but there must be some bugs in there or something. Just another thick one. Another lipper. Are you catching bluegills that you can lip? Man, that's... That's probably one of the most fun bites you could have. Two lippers? Hell yeah. Get them back. Don't to worry about keeping there's a bunch more down there too. I wanna get up. Let's see how we do this one. She's right at nine inches. So the other one's probably nine as well. 
Hopefully there's a tan somewhere running around here. Barry, finally! <laughs> finally! Jeez, that took forever. Another lipper. Oh, another yep, nine incher. Nine incher. We got to find that ten before we leave. There we go, that took way too long. That's something nice. Bad. Oh, one of those crappie. Finally. Finally, one of those big crappie. Wait till you guys see this dude, man. Wait till you see him. <laughs> there we go, this is what I've been wanting this last hour. Hell yeah, finally. Man, there are some giants in here. <clears throat> Good hook. There we go. On that woolly mayfly. Tipped with just a little uh, spike. There it goes. Man, came up and smoked it. I'm gonna get a measurement on on this one. <clears throat> Not as big as Matt's, but 13 inches. Big hell of a day can I ask for better weather can I ask for a better bite back to the drink she goes all right well that's gonna do it for today um, appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this one man it turned out to be an awesome day uh, again we had awesome weather um, really just gonna ask for a better day of fishing um, probably one of the best days I had, have had this uh, ice season. So uh, lots of big panfish, big bluegill, it's a couple bass. Finally got a big crappie, 13 inches. So man, awesome day, man. So again, man, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that thumbs up for me. Leave a comment, man. Appreciate y'all.